Okay, we got something that's making the rounds right now, and it started back in 2022, but for some reason right now it's up at the surface and it's starting to get some energy wrapped around it. And that's, there is, um, there was a, a, um, a way that, f that folks have figured out how to determine what's on the inside of things based on basically how the object is ringing, ringing like a bell. So all objects on earth have a, have a vibrational frequency to them. And it's not because they're vibrating because of, you know, cosmic soup. It's everything on the planet is in a, a dynamic limit living system. So there's all kinds of energy that's out there that is interacting with and acting on all objects, right? So everything has a ring to it. It's all ringing. It's all vibrating. And if you are able to take a measurement of how a three-dimensional object is ringing from all different perspectives, then you can use a lot of really complicated math to figure out what's inside of the object, right? If there's hollow spaces, um, if there's def density differentials in the material that's in there, those types of things. And that's, that's what we're doing here. So this was a report, um, synthetic aperture radar Doppler tomography. And I'll show you one of the, I'll show you some of the pictures. So this is the data that they're looking at, right? So it's it's basically, this is the raw information, the raw data. So you can see how it's taking measurements and it's actually reading a frequency, how it's vibrating on the outside. Um, this picture right here shows the, um, basically the results, right? Range, azimuth, and I believe this is the amount of, of uh, vibrational intensity. So repeat pass phase of the Giza plateau. So I think this is the vibrational intensity. And then what you basically get when you crunch all the numbers down, you get an example like this, right? I like this example. So here's a known object inside of the, uh, the, the pyramid, right? It's the, one of the queen's chambers. And you know, there's, they have no, this is tube. So when you do all take all the data that you've pulled together from that, that radar system that's in space, that's shooting, you know, electromagnetic radiation back and, and, and getting the bounce back and reading the Doppler shift of how the actual, you know, pyramid is vibrating from all the angles, then you can start to develop this information. Now, it doesn't draw a picture like this, right? So this is all probabil probabilities and averages. So it's basically saying based on all of the information and the data that's been received, this is a area of low density or no density, right? So it's just, it's a, it's a void. So you can kind of see how this is overlaid. Well, you see right here, it's overlaid over the chamber and then there's a, um, you know, it shows up for the tunnel towards it as well in the data. So when you see these pictures that look like this, this is an, this is a, a creative, um, example of what is potentially there, right? You're dealing with probabilities. Some of the things in here that they, they know are there. So they're drawn, you know, pretty, pretty accurately, but they've discovered other things within the pyramid that they didn't know about. And one of them was what was under it. And I don't know where the data is on this. So the, um, the Reese report which is the only place I can find that has that, that shows the huge underground structures. I don't see a actual um, reference in here. So it's, it's, it's going back to the 2022 MDPI synthetic aperture radar Doppler, which was the, the article that I was looking at or the paper I was looking at. And I don't see anything in here that talks about underneath where the data is there, right? They talk about seeing it from the top, but I don't understand how they can see up to two kilometers beneath the surface when you're measuring a flat plane on the top that's covered by a pyramid. So I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just saying I don't see, there's no source that I can go read where they've come up with that conclusion. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool, right? So they're shooting radar down at the ground and they're bouncing it off a pyramid and they're seeing how it's vibrating and they figured out what's inside of it. And somehow they also know that all oh, there's all these tunnels or tubes that are underneath the pyramid that go um, like 600 and some plus meters down. And they sit on top of boxes that are hollow that actually take it all the way down to like two kilometers under the surface of or under the pyramid. Um, 
so the question is, what are these things, right? Is it, are they part of the pyramid system, right? Because people have, have supposed that it's a electrical generator, right? It's used to actually generate energy or generate electricity. There's other theories out there that it's for like portals or communication and those types of things. But question is, what are these for? Are they for, you know, are they part of the, the energy system of the pyramid? Are they part of the pyramid system to operate in whatever capacity it was designed to do? Or are they, you know, or were they part of a construction component? Like, were they there as part of the construction processes of how they built the pyramid? You know, it reminds me of a hydraulic ram, right? If they are, if they are tubes that are going down 600 and some odd meters, then they could be operated as hydraulic presses. So maybe they were used to lift something up in the early days. I don't know. Just one of the potential uses for these things. So that's that's what's going on with this. I just thought it was really interesting. I wanted to talk about it because I was interesting to me, especially the technology aspect of it, how they used um, radar from space to measure how much the, the pyramids were, were vibrating and then be able to use complicated math to basically come up with a probabilistic three-dimensional model of what's actually inside the pyramid. So I think that's awesome. And I know they're doing, they use this for looking for uh, ruins in the rainforests and everything. So I'm expecting that we're going to get more discoveries out of this technology. It'll be cool when they start, maybe they look at the other three or the other pyramids that are all around the earth and see if they have the same subterranean construction things going on down there. But yeah, so I just wanted to touch upon it. Thought it was cool. Wanted to share what I thought and, uh, you know, just kind of describe the process because it's a, it's a little bit hard to read when, if you read the, uh, the actual article, but I'll put that, I'll put that in the, uh, in the post.